What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. Today we're going to discuss some news on a possible upcoming iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.3 jailbreak that might come from a rather peculiar dude in the community and that is the M Terminal Jailed. Now a couple days ago a uh, Reddit post has been made by this guy in here and it says quote a potential iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.3 jailbreak in the works based on the KSLR defeat and some original work and he posted the github repository. Now is this project in here called purple smoke about which we're going to discuss but I received quite a lot of messages on Twitter and on YouTube uh, asking me about this project and asking me whether it's legit or not and asking me whether it has any chances to become a real jailbreak. So I'm going to talk about it in a second. At first we're talking about this dude in here who is apparently the developer behind the M terminal jailed which according to him is a mobile terminal alternative for the unjailbroken devices. You probably remember the M terminal from Cydia. Well this dude pretty much used an exploit that was publicly available in order to make it available for iOS 11.1 point something if I remember well. Anyways he has posted this in here and a lot of people believed it's a jailbreak. Well it's not a jailbreak jailbreak for the moment. It has some potential though, but it's not a jailbreak for the moment. Looking over the code, it does look interesting. The dude at least knows how to code. Granted it was him the one who wrote the code. But for the moment this is nothing very interesting. It does use the uh, vulnerability that leaks the um, kernel pointer in the x80 register. It's this one from here if you remember for the iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.2.6. But that's pretty much it. He tries to do some brute forcing on the ports, on the Mac ports, and that's something interesting in here. It's an interesting approach. But for the moment, this isn't a very good start for a jailbreak. It has the potential, though, if the dude is working on it and if the dude is capable enough to use the vulnerabilities that will be posted in the future. And it pretty much says in here uh, at the end, all done. Let's hope a kernel exploit is coming soon. So granted a kernel exploit will come, the dude might be able to build a jailbreak. So at least we have one developer that might be interested in building such things. So that's some good news. But the dude is actually a beginner in the jailbreak community. He does know how to code. He's not your average, I don't know, coffee breaks or your average chic team scam that has no idea how iOS jailbreak works and so on. No, he does seem to know how to code. I'm not massively impressed for the moment by his code, but he does have an idea on how iOS exploits can be used for a jailbreak and how to piece some exploits together in order to get to some point or to, I don't know, pawn a specific kernel component. But I'm not entirely sure that he's able to exploit a vulnerability himself. And for the moment what we have are vulnerabilities, not exploits. So although the dude seemed to be okay with using a pre-made exploit, for example Ziva or Vortex exploit and so on, he doesn't seem to have enough knowledge in order to exploit a vulnerability. Now you're going to ask me what's the difference between a vulnerability and an exploit. Well a vulnerability is a proof of concept. It's a bug. You know the bug is there. You have a write-up on how to trigger the bug, what is the component that is vulnerable to that bug, but you do not have an exploit that is usable for the jailbreak. You can use some code in order to like, I don't know, crash a specific kernel component, a specific kernel extension, or to do something else, but it's not useful for a jailbreak. In order to make it usable for a jailbreak, you would need to exploit that vulnerability in a specific way. And I'm not entirely sure that he knows how to do that, since that's a skill many people do not have. It really takes you years of iOS development and of course jailbreak development in order to learn how to build exploits on top of vulnerabilities. But if a kernel exploit is released for these vulnerabilities or for another vulnerability on iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.3, I could see him being able to put together a uh, rather basic jailbreak on top of them. For the moment, as I said, the code is not massively interesting, but it does have some potential. So yeah, what I can say, it's interesting, but for the moment do not expect a jailbreak anytime soon from this guy. Should you follow him on Twitter? Well, if you want to, he does seem to know a thing or two about iOS and he's not completely out of this world when it comes to exploitation or hacking, but as I said, he seems to be a beginner in the community and he still has quite a lot to learn. 
So yeah, if you want to follow him, go ahead, but do not expect a jailbreak anytime soon. At least not until a kernel exploit is available, because I'm not entirely sure he's able to exploit a vulnerability himself. So yeah, with that being said, I will discard this news for the moment. I do not think there is a uh, jailbreak in the works. It's rather a project, and as he said here, quote, this isn't a jailbreak anyways, it's a work in progress and mostly serves as something for me to practice and learn. It's on GitHub as people might find it useful and can contribute, but please do not go around like, no, this is a scam, just because it's not a jailbreak yet. So he never said it is a jailbreak, he said it's something like a sketch, something he's working on using these vulnerabilities for the iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.2.6. If he's able to develop it into something useful for a jailbreak, that would be cool, and I really believe he has the potential to do so if he tries. But for the moment, it's not an upcoming jailbreak, it's just something that is a work in progress and might turn at some point into the basis of a jailbreak, but do not hold your breath waiting for that. So yeah, I really hope I clarified this up because everybody was like messaging me and asking me whether this guy is legit or not or whether this is a jailbreak or not. So I really hope I made things clear in here. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.